This program is brought to you by the Partners and Friends of Anthony Trice Ministries. How do you deceive yourself? By not being honest with yourself. Yeah. If you got some issues, just admit it. Yeah. Don't be in denial like you got together. Yeah. So if you got stuff going on in your heart and mind, just admit it to yourself and let God know, Lord, take this stuff out. To the work with Dr. Anthony L. Trice. Our own word. Just touch two or three people and say, Neighbor! Neighbor! Oh, neighbor! Oh, There's too much noise! Too much noise. You may take your sins. I like that too. Too much noise. Family, friends, brothers, and sisters, it is noted that in sports, we understand that the Cavaliers have what we like to call LeBron James. I'm from Houston, go Rockets. We find ourselves with James Harden, but nothing would be a game without the support of the crowd. I'm reminded that uh, it was in NCAA last month, actually, where the top teams were now sitting at home because, if you will, the underdogs may have had uh, the voice of the crowd that carried them and motivated them to a place where they could defeat those who were ahead of them. I'm reminded that it doesn't matter where you are in life, whether you're at the bottom, if you have that motivation, if you have those who are pumping you and, and telling you to go forward, that you're able to do something that you yourself cannot see, then you can find yourself to the finish line. Hallelujah. But contrary to the support of the crowd, uh, beloved, we find ourselves that in the sports of golf, <laughs> there is no sound. We find ourselves that there's much respect, if you will, between the golfer and the greens. Uh, this, if you will, underlining unspoken rule is that when the golfer is on the greens, there is to be no noise. If you will, the commentators begin to hush. The, those who are around begin to be quiet because they have respect for the golfer. Well, looking at that in life, beloved, it, we, it would be lovely, if you will, uh, to live the life of a golfer in the spiritual realm, where when you are trying to advance yourself and you're trying to get to a place that you've never been before spiritually, that you would have people that will stay out of your business until you get to that place. Uh, but I come to let somebody know uh, we don't live in the golf world. My last name is not Woods and the first name is not Tiger. We live in the this thing called life whereby which uh, you have people who don't want to see you succeed you have people who don't want to see you go to the next level you have people who want to talk you out of your visions and your dreams you have people that want to talk you out of your business ideas uh, simply because they are living without vision themselves you are not talking to it here in other words life comes with a lot of noise and we find ourselves uh, in our text where Judah is surrounded by noise. Uh, they are trying to rebuild the wall and we find ourselves uh, in Nehemiah chapter 1 where he receives the news about the condition of Jerusalem. We find, if you will, in Nehemiah chapter 2 where he establishes clearance uh, to return and rebuild the wall. Chapter 3, if you will, which we'll cover, we find Samballot uh, and Tobiah trying to ridicule them for building something uh, that God has already spoken. In other words, you must watch yourselves now when you are pregnant with purpose and destiny because there is a Tobiah, and I don't hear nobody talking back to me, and there is a sandal and waiting to talk you out of your blessing. He's trying to talk you out of being obedient to what God has spoken to you. If you be honest with you, Tobiah spoke to you this morning before you got to church. Uh, Sandal spoke to you Saturday before you got here Sunday. But is there anybody
us understand uh, uh, that a lie and discouraging attack will often have some truth in it, uh, uh, but it will neglect the great truth. In other words, there will be people that will try to talk down upon you, uh, but you have to understand, although there may be some truth to what they're saying, uh, they forgot that God was with you and has promised to see you through the end. Uh, is there anybody that can say, it doesn't matter what you know about my past. Uh, Say 
as furious and very indignant and mocked the Jews because Nehemiah and the workers did in fact have legal protection from the king. And you can find that in the second chapter of Nehemiah, Sambalat and Tobiah had no authority to actually stop the work. You mean to tell me that I've been bowing down to a devil that really has no authority to stop what God is doing in my life? See, the thing is, the devil tries to so, the devil tries to prey on your insecurities and because he preys on your insecurities it blinds you of the fact that he has no power or say so in your life look at your name and say name all you're hearing is noise it ain't true it's noise it ain't got no truth to this noise they don't want you to succeed shut up So 
Then Judah said, Judah was supposed to be the strongest, the bravest tribe. It was a tribe of great kings and ultimately the Messiah himself. It was a special challenge and a discouragement to have this word come from the tribe of Judah. Nehemiah, the Jews rebuilding Jerusalem have been standing strong in the face of attack. But now that the rebuilding work is at a halfway point. Yes, God. And walls is almost continuous. Special challenges arise. Naturally, I am a builder. Naturally, I am, if you will, a contractor. And I cannot build something unless we first demo. I gotta close it up, Bishop. I can't build something new until I demo what's already there. And sometimes the mess that is in the demo will make it seem like you're making no progress. And it will cause you to want to give up before you even start. My beloved, what I'm telling you is your frustration is not coming from God not moving. It's coming from God's too much mess around me. It may take too long to get what I'm trying to get. It may four years is a long time to get the degree. Two years is a long time. I don't know if I can do it. But God says if you take the time out to demo what's already there, then I can place new on the inside. Haven't I not told you that a new mind cannot go an old wine skin? Sometimes you gotta get rid of the old to embrace the new. I don't hear nobody talking back to me. The reason you don't got your bow ass is because you still trying to hold on to the new. Outside of the realms of marriage, there's some friends that you gotta let go because truth be told, they got a chicken mindset. And I don't know about you, but what God has for you, it causes you to soar. Do I have any eagles in here? I don't got time to teach on the spirit of an eagle. Almost like 
the, the new modern day YMCA. I see you working closely with the school districts. In other words, when you when you say that you are a gateway to the city, beloved, what that really means very simply is that you are, if you will, you take that's why this 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 ministry takes on so much because you are the very gateway to the city. In other words, you are the, the entrance. You I don't hear nobody talking to me. You are the change, you are the ecclesia. In other words, every church does not experience God's glory. Just because you have every ch church on every corner don't mean that God is there. You can't just be members, you have to be connected. Connected. And I come to let somebody know that you don't want to get in position. God St. Louis area, please come visit our North Campus, located 7200 West Forson, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136, or give us a call. We would love to hear from you at 314-659-8522. For more information on how to get connected, write to us or visit us online at ebbytrice.org. And we thank you for your continued support.